Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about half subtractor. A half subtractor is a combinational circuit that subtracts two bits. Now it has two input variables and two output variables. Input variables denoted by X and Y represents the bits to be subtracted. Half subtractor will subtract the bit represented by Y from the bit represented by X. Now the output variable denoted by D represents the difference bit. That is the difference of X and Y. That is the result of X minus Y. B represents, it specifies whether one has been borrowed from higher significant stage or not. Now, suppose the value of x is 0 and value of y is also 0. Then, the result would be 0 because 0 minus 0 equals to 0. Here the value of D that is the difference bit would be 0 and since no borrow has been taken from higher significant stage value of B will also be 0. When X and Y both are 1 then the result would be 0 right that is 1 minus 1 equals to 0. So here difference bit D will be 0. And since no borrow has been taken from higher significant stage, value of B will also be 0. When the value of Y is 0 and X is 1, right? Then the result would be 1. That is, the difference bit would be 1. Since no borrow has been taken from higher significant stage, value of B will be 0. But when value of x is 0 and y is 1, right? And when we subtract y from x, that is 0 minus 1, right? Then what would happen? In this case, we will have to borrow a 1 from higher significant stage. So the value of b, output variable represented by b, would be 1 and the value of difference bit right so when we borrow 1 from higher significant stage right then it will add 2 to the value of x here the value of x equals to 0 so when 2 is added to x then it becomes 2. So when we subtract uh, 1 from 2, then the result would be 1. So in this case, value of D, that is the difference bit, would be 1. And the value of B, that is which specifies whether borrow has been taken or not, will also be 1. So when x is less than y the value of b will be 1 when x is greater than or equals to y value of b will be 0 now see how we subtract in decimal number system suppose we have to subtract 15 from 32 now for, look at here first we have to subtract the digits at the unit place now here 2 is less than 5 so we will borrow 1 from higher significant digit right so when we borrow 1 it will add 10 to the value of 2 so it will become 12 now we will subtract 5 from 12 the result would be 7 right Same will be in this case, when we borrow 1, the value of x 
will be 2 because the value here the value of x is 0. So when we borrow 1 from higher significant stage then it would become 2 right and when we subtract y that is 1 from a binary number whose decimal value is 2 right the result would be 1. So it is the truth table for half subtractor which describes the relationship between input variables and output variables. Now when x is greater than equal to y value of b is 0. When x is less than y, value of b is 1, right? So, when we subtract 0 from 0, the difference bit would be 0. When we subtract 1 from 1, the difference bit would be 0. When we subtract 0 from 1, the difference bit would be 1. When we have to subtract 1 from 0, then in this case, we will borrow 1 from higher significant stage. So the value of b will be 1. And when we borrow 1, value of x would be increased by 2, right? So when we subtract 1, the difference bit would be 1. Right, because 2 minus 1 would be 1. Right. Now, we have to may, uh, obtain Boolean functions for the output variables from this truth table. It is a truth table for half subtractor. Now look at the rows in of truth table in which the value of d is 1. Now in these two rows value of d is 1. So the main terms corresponding to this combination of values of x and y right here x and y are input variables is x not y right for this combination of in uh, values of uh, x and y the main term would be x y not since d is 1 in these two rows so d could be expressed as the sum of two main terms x not y right plus x y not right now we have to obtain the boolean function for output variable b output variable b is one only in this row right so the main term corresponding to this combination of values of x and y is x not y. So b could be equal to x not y, right? This combinational circuit that is half subtractor can be described by these two Boolean functions, right? Now we have to make logic diagram for half subtractor, right? We know that d equals to x naught y plus x y naught. It is an XOR function, right? That is d equals to x XOR y. We know that XOR function is implemented by XOR gate. Now, this XOR gate has two inputs, x and y. Right. Its output would be x0y plus xy0. Right. 
so its output would be t right now b equals to x naught and y this not gate complements the value of x its output is x naught now the output of this not gate is connected to this and gate right which performs the and operation another input of this AND gate is Y, right? So this AND gate will give the output X naught and Y, right? Which is equals to B, right? Thank you very much.